We created gamma tau therapy because we were running out of options for our patients. It was uh, a moment of desperation or understanding of our desperation. So gamma tau therapy is a system for delivering uh, radiation to tumor beds uh, within the head using brachytherapy seeds encased in a collagen sponge, a kind of a, a spacer that allows us to get a better dose placement and better separation. It takes on average five minutes or so to do in the operating room after the end of the surgical procedure. Um, no extra trips for therapy. I mean, one of the, the most gratifying parts has been sort of the patient uh, um, happiness and the family happiness with how this goes. In general, what we're seeing is, uh, is greater than expected, um, either overall survival or progression-free survival. And when they compare it from their point of view, they generally are delighted. They don't feel like anything happened. It doesn't extend their length of stay. It doesn't require that they come back for further visits. So the acceptance level has been very high. Because we've got such a good experience with it, uh, we really feel confident to tell the appropriate patients that there is something that we can still do, and the data shows that it's better than what we could have offered them before. University of Minnesota Health made Linda the first patient in the country to have the FDA-approved radioactive tiles implanted during surgery. By implanting radiation directly at the time of surgery, you are treating the tumor immediately. Dr. Clark Chen showed us Linda's tiles, which will last about a month while targeting the area most likely to see a tumor regrow. She's getting much more intense radiation in the area that she needs it the most. So it's safer for the rest of the brain. Radiation oncologist Catherine Dusenberry says the tiles also disintegrate on their own. There's just one surgery. The patient goes home, they get the radiation, and they don't need to come back in necessarily to have it removed. Health-wise and stuff, it's not even like they're in there. And that means Linda can now focus on what matters. I just keep going. You just got to put a smile on your face and just be, in, be a strong person and show my son that he has a strong mom that can be able to, we can get through anything. Now, Dr. Chen says gamma tiles are just one of many tools they now have to fight glioblastoma. Linda is also using chemotherapy, but her implants started helping her fight back with radiation right after surgery two weeks ago. Normally that wouldn't be possible at all for four more weeks.